Hi there, and welcome to day 18 in 30 days of prayer for our children. We're going to be praying today for a renewed mind for our children. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So no matter how much we try to shelter our children, even like in a warm cocoon of a perfect Christian family, which by the way doesn't exist, but even if it did, even if you had them sheltered in this warm cocoon of, of perfection, they're going to encounter fallen people because we're fallen people in the home, in that cocoon. It's, it's infiltrated by fallen people. So the bottom line is that, um, that we live in a fallen world and there are fallen, incorrect worldviews that permeate pretty much every aspect of our lives, the media, social media, even our own understanding of reality. Even if we're Bible-believing Christians, there is social stuff and um, worldviews that we don't even know that we have that could be affecting for the worse. Um, the way that we approach life and our philosophies. And so we need to be praying for our children to be transformed by the renewing of their minds so that they can test and approve what God's good, pleasing, and perfect will is. And that means that they need to be anchored to scripture. They need to be anchored to God's truth. And they need to be open to reevaluating their understanding of what's going on around them in the world in a new way by the living word because the god the the word of god is living and active so it's applicable even if it doesn't directly speak to something going on in the world or a situation um god can use his word to transform our thinking and and to speak to things in our lives that may not be specifically addressed in scripture, but maybe God can use that to help us gain wisdom so that we can be transformed by the renewing of our minds as we understand who God is in a bigger context and test and approve what God's will is in the specifics of our lives. That's not to say that there aren't gray areas that we just don't know and that we have to just go on faith that our understanding is right and ask God for guidance and step-by-step -step wisdom along the way. Um, but that renewed mind, I don't think it's a one-time thing. I think it's a lifelong process of be transformed by the ongoing renewing of your mind. And I think that's something we want to pray for our kids. We prayed that they would be God chasers, truth seekers, and we want to pray that they would just be constantly having an influx of wisdom and, um, God's word and God's spirit that would help renew their mind. It's almost like a refresh. You know, when you refresh your, your web page and things change a little bit, we want them to constantly have a renewing of their mind as they gain new information and new input into their, into their lives and into their worldview. We want it to always be refreshed by the word of God and by God's truth to shift it and, and kind of look at it through the lens of scripture and the lens of truth. So let's pray that for our kids today and for ourselves because it is hard. It really is. But God is so faithful and we don't have to be confused or worried because as long as we are praying that God will renew our minds, as long as we are open to his transforming work, even if we get a little bit off course, we can hit the refresh and know that God is washing us with his word. He's transforming us by renewing our minds so that we can test and approve God's pleasing and perfect will. And he can do the same for our kids. God, we thank you for that refresh that we can get, that we can be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we can test and approve what your will is, your good, pleasing, and perfect will. God, we pray that for ourselves as caregivers and shepherds, and we pray that over our children as we watch them navigate life in an independent way as they go along. Lord, we pray that if there are areas 
where they need the refresh, where their worldview has been tainted or somehow um, gone astray. Lord, we just, we pray that you would hit the refresh with them, Lord, that you would help us to shepherd them, to give them scriptures or insights or godly counsel where it's appropriate, that we would know when to keep our mouth shut and just pray that we would just know exactly what our kids need at any given time to point them to your transforming power. Lord, we pray against the confirmation to the pattern of this world. We pray against indoctrination to wrong thought patterns and wrong thinking. We pray against false doctrine. We pray as they become spiritually independent that they would choose wisely where they attend church and whose teachings they allow themselves to be submitted under. We pray that they would have just keen awareness of truth with a capital T and that every situation, every news article they read, every email they read or text or social media, um, influence would, would be tested and approved by your good, pleasing, and perfect will, God. And we know you are faithful to do that and that you can. We know that you're victorious over everything and you are sovereign over all. So we just place our children in your care. And we do just pray that you would allow them to have a renewed mind moment by moment, that they would be able to glorify you in their lives and just be mighty warriors for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.